In this tutorial, we will continue to animate the taskbar by pressing tab button. Previously, we have done adding icons and to show text when we hover the icon. Go back to the BP main widget, click on designer tab and select taskbar panel at the left side. We will animate this taskbar. The taskbar will come from the bottom. On the detail panel, please remember the position Y, offset right and size Y. Let's start by moving the taskbar to the bottom by controlling position Y value. The taskbar still selected. Click on this animation tab and click on dock in layout. Click on this place animation, change the name to VED IN. Select the VED IN. Click on this track button and select taskbar. On the position Y, add a beginning keyframe, then move the timeline to the 1. Then switch the position Y back to the original, which is minus 120. Then add N keyframe. So now we have 2 keyframe for the position Y. If we move the timeline to the 0, the taskbar will show animation from the bottom to the top. Move back the timeline to the zero. We will now animate the offset right and size Y. In this case, I just scale the taskbar freehand by dragging the controller. On the offset right, add begin keyframe, then move the timeline to the 1, and put original value for the offset right, which is 0. Then add N keyframe. Move back the time slider to 0. For the size Y, add a first keyframe by pressing this dot button and move the slider timeline to 1 and change the size Y back to 120 then add a N keyframe Next, we will animate the opacity Make sure the timeline slider is set to 0 and look for opacity on this search bar change render opacity to 0 and add a first keyframe then move the timeline slider to 1 and change the render opacity to 1 then add and keyframe Let's make an adjustment for the opacity a little bit. In this case, I have moved the time slider to 0.7. Then I change the opacity to 0.5. And I add a keyframe. We have now completed the fade in animation.
let's create another animation make sure we select the taskbar panel and give it name fade out click on track and select taskbar and make sure the timeline is set to zero on the detail panel add a first keyframe for the position y and move the time slider to 0 0.75 and change the position y to up a little bit and add and keyframe move the time slider back to zero then look for opacity add a first keyframe for the opacity then move the time slider to one then change the render opacity to zero and add and keyframe We have now completed fade in and fade out animation. Compile and save. Let's now adjust the blueprint. Go back to Grab Editor Right click on the canvas and look for Event Construct On the left panel, under Animations, drag the Fade In From the Fade In output Drag and look for play animation Then connect the input from event construct Let's try to play As we can see, when we press the play button, the taskbar is coming from the bottom we will control the visibility of the taskbar using tab key on our keyboard open the bp first person character unplug this wire by pressing ctrl and left click it and connect back the even begin play to cast to player controller Let's move these nodes to the right side a little bit. Right click on the empty canvas and look for K tab. On the left panel, create a new variable. Give it name like is paused and make sure the type is boolean let's compile it first select is post boolean from the detail panel we set the default value to false drag the variable to the canvas from the tape output pull out and look for branch we use this branch to check the condition of the boolean connect the variable to branch condition and press compile from the through output pull out and look for print string modify the text string and duplicate it in this case we will try to print out the true or the false output into the screen press compile and let's do a quick test 
when we press the tab the false text will appear now what we want is if we press the tab for the first time the taskbar will appear and if we press the tab one more time the taskbar will disappear let's modify the false string to something like game will pause we do this because when we press the tab for the first time as we remember the false text appear so we will use this output to execute the taskbar fed in and we will use the through output to execute the animation of fed out taskbar as you can see if we press the tab the text game will pause appear let's modify the string text that coming from through input from the variable panel at the left drag the boolean variable make sure you select set Connect the output and duplicate it. For this boolean, let's now set the condition to true. And press compile. Let's do a quick test. As we can see, when we press the first tab, the game will pause text is visible. And when we press again the tab, the game will not pause text is visible. So now we can use both output to execute the taskbar fed in and fed out animation. Let's move these widget nodes. And connect this variable to the create bp mine widget. Click on compile and let's do a quick test. Let's press tab button. The taskbar fed in animation is now visible. What we want now is that when we press the tab, the taskbar fed in animation is visible and the game will pause. From the return value of BP main widget, pull out and promote it to variable. This means that we will store the fed in animation so we can use it later to make it not visible. Modify the variable name. BP main widget. And from this output, pull out and look for set game pause. Go back to the editor and make sure we enable the pause check mark. As we can see now, when we press the tab, the taskbar is visible and the game is paused. But the problem is, when we press the tab again, we can do nothing. Let's fix this. Select the tab input and make sure we enable the execute when paused. So we can use the tab input while game paused. Now another issue is, when we press the tab, we lost the control of our mouse. 
when we hover the taskbar. Let's fix this. From the output of set game pause, pull out and look for set input mode game and UI. Let's copy the player controller node and connect the return value to player controller. Also from the set variable, connect to in widget focus. Compile it and let's do a test. As we can see now, when the taskbar is visible, our mouse focus is back. Let's now enable the fade out animation. From the left panel, drag the BPN main widget and connect the return value. This is what I mean previously. We stored the taskbar animation before, so now we can use it back to make it not visible. From this variable, pull out and get fade out animation. Pull out and look for play animation. Connect the input. As you can see when we press the tab, the taskbar fade in animation is appear and when we press the tab again, the taskbar disappear. But the issue now is that the game is still paused. Let's fix this. Let's duplicate the set game paused, connect the input and uncheck it. Now we want to hide the mouse pointer when the taskbar disappear. Go back to the editor and duplicate the get player controller. From the return value, pull out and look for set show mouse cursor. At the top we have set it to enable, so in this case, we need to set it to disable. Pull out and look for set input mode game only. Press compile again and let's do a quick test. Now we have completed the taskbar animation. For the final step, if you don't want to see the text, we can just delete it.